Welcome back to another edition of Ravens Roundup. This is Coach Evans here. And um, just, you know, the Baltimore Ravens signed Seth Roberts uh, a couple days ago, maybe even yesterday. And um, to me, this solidifies the fact that we're probably going to pick an O-lineman or another position with 22, if not trade back. Uh, with them picking up this uh, veteran guy and, you know, the, the subliminal messages that I get from this mean that we're not going to pick a wide receiver at 22 and that we're probably going to go in another direction. Uh, hoping to trade back and maybe get somebody else or get more picks rather. But from the press release, I'm going to just read this off. It says, um, the Ravens have made the first receiver addition of this offseason, agreeing in principle with Seth Roberts to own a one-year deal pending a physical. Roberts was released by the Oakland Raiders just one day earlier as part of their wide receiver overhaul, uh, which Oakland got Antonio Brown, so they're probably trying to get people to complement his skill set. Uh, Baltimore, which is filling holes in this unit, grabbed the 28-year-old veteran who has been a stated performer. Uh, just entering his prime, Roberts immediately becomes one of the Ravens' most seasoned wide receivers. <laughs> oh, the propaganda. He's one of the... <laughs> Obviously, when you don't have but two guys that, that got snaps, he's going to be one of your seasoned wide receivers. You got Sneed and, and more. But that is the propaganda they're throwing out there for, to... To, I guess to justify signing him but I'm not going to even read the rest of that um, getting into it you can see the heading on this thing uh, I'm not sure when the signing happened Chris Moore looked at himself like why they re-signed me they could just gave me that money but I see the same type skill set you know maybe a little differences in their uh, game and what we're going to do is we're going to get into their game well get into Seth's game and see is he better than Chris Moore is or is he worse than Chris Moore or are they the same person as the meme indicates uh, and I'm going to put a link in this um, when I finish with it to that Chris Moore video I did early in the year talking about um, well people had asked me should Chris Moore uh, be more of a contributor and I basically went through a couple of game or went through a game and showed how he needs to be a better route runner and do the little nuances of his his uh, route running that he needed to improve on Maybe he's going to improve on that this offseason. I don't know. I hope so because it, it can only be better for the team. But let's get into um, Seth Robinson and see what he does. And this is going to be about a – try to make this around a 5- to 10-minute video. So we're not going to get into a lot of plays, but but let's dive right into it. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to patreon.com backslash zip the tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans. And again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to patreon.com backslash zip to tally. For the most part, I'm going to let it run. And kind of, you know, if y'all see something real important, I'll stop it and go. Uh, he's number 10. Same number as, as Chris Moore. He's in a slot down here at the bottom. Running this slant. Was a hand catcher on that, so that that's a good thing. Not not a body guy. It's always a good thing when you catch him with your hands. Wasn't, wasn't press coverage. It was an RPO. You saw how the linebackers bit off in there, so it's simple. And, and the NFL guy should be able to do that. Nothing special about that skill set because it was wide open because of the RPO. In the slot again, running the reverse. Some of the things that Chris Moore does, doesn't get much out of it. Doesn't look as fast as Chris Moore right there. He missed block, but still should have tried to explode to the sideline. Maybe, maybe he can get up the field. But didn't look fast on that play right there. And obviously, this is against the Chiefs, one of the better teams in the NFL. He is, I'm not sure where he is here. Okay, running across the route. Let me see if I can back it up so I can see him from the jump. So I guess that's him on the ball, yeah. Nice little delay. 
Not bad. Would have liked to see him come flatter. Maybe he'd have been more open and with a chance to run after the catch. He drifts on this this crossing route. He could have come flat right now. Come flat right now. He's close to the numbers and maybe get a chance to get away from Fuller, even though Fuller fast. Slide at the bottom. Run a little out route to run the stick concept. Nothing special about that. Good hands though. For all three catches I've seen have been have been hand catches, not not body catches, which is a good thing. Did a good job of sticking that route and, and, and getting open. Oh, I saw one of my former players on the side. I mean, can I go back? No. Never mind. Number 74 for Kansas City, one of our former players back home. So I'm on the sideline. Good for you, Juicy. Same route, stick route. Same route from the, to the other side. Sticking that foot in the ground and getting it out of empty. Getting good separation on, on Fuller on that. If it's working for him, go back to it. That's what good coaches do. But, oh, they down 28 to 3. So, <laughs> where is he? Where is he? at the bottom of your screen. He's running out routes. That's all. <laughs> Four plays, three out routes. Four plays, three out routes. So I can't really tell, uh, you know, how good he run routes because he's pretty much getting that, sticking that foot in the ground and turning out. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. We'll continue to watch. So now they're playing the Broncos. They're up 14-0. He's down here, the number two receiver at the bottom. The Broncos are playing cover one or three. It's one. Ooh, nice little pivot route. I like that. Nice little pivot route. Let's see. He's just slot guy down here. Out. Come right back on. But I would still like to see him, when he come back underneath, stay right down that line. Stay right down that line right there. Don't drift. But it's not bad. Not bad. So that's a, that's a different route we see right here. It's still everything's underneath, though. So if this guy's a slot underneath guy, what's what's the plan for Willie Sneed? If, are we gonna try to phase Willie Sneed out or what? Because this is kind of Sneed's territory. What, what what Chris Moore is showing on on these two games so far. And even though it's just a one year deal, so you know it ain't you know nobody's really hurt, but still trying to get your mind on, on in the area where the what the Costa is thinking. I personally want to see the young guys get in there and play and develop. Just, just throw them out there and they mess up. Let them learn from it. And then just let them grow. There's a lot of stuff happening right here. Let's go back. So obviously he's going to try to chip this this rusher. And try to chip that rusher right there. And then he's going to work out then work back underneath. Bang that guy to help the tackle out. And come underneath to get the ball. Not bad. Still working the underneath stuff. That's the same type of deals that, that Snee going to do. It's a good look at it. Helping the tackle out. He's not even in receiver stands. He's standing there like a tight end. Help him out. Come underneath. He did a nice little head and shoulder, but it didn't fool the guy. I missed it. Had a nice little head and shoulder on the whoever was the, the safety that was guarding him or was the nickel, but it didn't fool him. Just got a good ball from Derek Carr. He's at the bottom of your screen now playing outside. Okay. Got a little P.I. Well, I think it should have been a P.I. Watch him stick that foot in the ground outside. Go back. Let's go back. Bring it back. Bring it on back. Watch him stick his foot in the ground and, and get the DB off balance. Then you're going to shoot right up the number. Boop. Yeah, that should have been a flag. I don't know if it was or not, but it should have been. Illegal contact, whatever they called back then. Now he where he is, is the same play. Probably. Widen him out. Bam. Right up the scene. Right outside the number, rather. 
that should have been a legal contact. So that, that's 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 good change of direction. Being able to stick the foot in the ground, going to the Bengals here. Let's see if we can find him. I'm sure he's in that bunch somewhere. Run the bubble route. Not getting much. That's you know, I'm so far I'm failing to see the significance of this signing, other than depth. And a, and a guy with that has has some snaps, so maybe that is the significance of this signing. A guy that has has played some snaps, and a guy that has been fairly consistent. Um, that way, if young guys don't pan out, or the guys that you saw at the draft, you can have this guy there as a backup to you know to. So you still won't be in straight rebuild mode at receiver. You still have three guys that can can play. You'll have um, Sneed. You'll have more. You'll have this guy, and I don't see. An outside receiver there though, out of those three guys, I don't I don't see that. So you know you're gonna have your tight end. So I are they are they planning to make this guy outside receiver or what? I'm not not really sure what's going on with this signing. I don't really like it, but I, it's failed. You know I want to see where it leads to before I just give too much judgment on it. When I initially saw it, I was like, what what's going on? Why? But I'm I'm a proponent of okay, catch that? Nope. Them balls we're gonna have to have because we ain't gonna have the, the most accurate QB. If you put it that close to your hands, you gotta have that. Oh yeah, you gotta catch that, buddy. You gotta have it. You got to. So very, very unimpressed so far. Very unimpressed. Need about three more plays. This is another gadget play that Chris Moore does. So you know, I'm 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 done. <laughs> With that being said, Chris Moore, they have signed a clone, and I don't even think a better version of you. For what reason, I don't know. I uh, you know, hopefully you you getting your stuff together and you you get more snaps than this guy because he's definitely not faster than you. You know, he he catches the ball maybe okay, definitely not better than you. And um, I think you'll give us more. I think Chris Moore will give us more value in the return game and stuff like that. So Baltimore Ravens have signed Seth Roberts, who is almost an identical clone of Chris Moore, but maybe a little. If Chris Moore is a seven, Seth Roberts is a six point five, but the same body style. Matter of fact, before I get out of here, let me see if I can see his stats. Let's see if we can find his stats for last year. One second, though. Bear with me. I know I said there's gonna be five to ten minutes. I'll be pushing that right now. But let's get let's get this. Get this one. I almost got it. Alright, last year he had forty five catches for four hundred ninety four yards and two TDs. And that's a lot more production than Chris Moore, but he was one of their better receivers. So he played up probably played a lot more snaps than Chris Moore too. But um, like this video, comment. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you know that if you comment, for the most part, I get back with you, if not instantly, the next day or so. And um, I'm up to 1,200 followers, pushing to 1,300. I appreciate you guys for uh, following me, for liking, subscribing, for chatting with me. And um, make sure you check out the Teespring site. I'll put a link down there in the bottom. And I'm also going to link that video for, for Chris Moore, too. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, enjoy your Saturday. It's Coach Evans. We out.